This isn't a story about a stranger's child. It isn't a story about something that happens in another zip code. It isn't even a story from the other side of town. This story is about a child just down the street. It's about the little girl in your granddaughter's class. The boy your son plays soccer with. That child, the one you've seen on field trips and at the bus stop. She didn't choose this life. She didn't choose to be born to parents struggling with addiction, to a mother battling mental illness, to a father in and out of prison. He didn't choose to be born into a cycle of domestic violence. She didn't choose to have an uncle who sexually assaults her. They didn't get to choose, but we do. We choose to pick up that phone, to answer a child's plea for help, again and again and again. We choose to knock on that door, to extend a hand that she can trust, a place where that child can feel safe. We choose to show up for birthdays and school lunches and late night homework sessions. We choose to check on that child when they're in the classroom and on the playground, when they're on our athletic field and participating in after school activities. We choose to hear her story, to consider his reality, to prioritize her well being. We choose to volunteer our time, to show up for the children in our community to build a network of adults willing to provide safe and stable relationships for these children. We choose to advocate for their well-being, to lift up their voices, to safeguard their futures. We choose to support life stories and their mission to advocate for children. What will you choose?